Hey, my fellow running nerds who actually watch uh, shoe reviews. Um, I got three shoes here that I wanted to put it up and just kind of give a, a once over real quick. This is more for beginners, so if you guys know your shoes, uh, move on so you don't get pissed at my comments and stuff. But uh, what I want to do is kind of break it down and what I'm running in and why I'm running in it. But um, I went through a lot of shoes, and these are the ones I've come up with. So I've got three different brands, three different shoes, and I want to show you guys what's going on here. Um, I'm going to start with my everydayers, and we're going to work counterclockwise, and hopefully that'll explain a little bit. So my everyday running shoes, this is everything from training to um, half marathons. I've uh, done 20 miles in these, but these are the Salkanese. Uh, Pro Grid Ride Threes, really like them. I actually just got these out of the wash, and you're not supposed to wash shoes, but I decided to wash them because they stink. But you see, they've got some arch support right here, which is gonna make a difference in our future discussions. But you see how much heel they have, and uh, you see how they have the the grids lacing up here, so it really puts some support into your forefoot. Um, Really happy with these. I've put in a lot of wear on them, so I'm almost getting to the point of their expiration, but I'm still going with them. Um, really happy. You see, they've got, they're considered neutral, but um, they really help me out when I start getting tired, so I've made them my middle distance shoes. I really like them. Keep them with them. Um, hopefully, I'll find a, a good replacement for them if I don't stick with the Saucony. Saucony is something I've run with back in the 90s and happy with what they have, so I want to keep with them. Uh, they, they've been really good for me. Uh, this, these are my go-to shoes right now, so anything, even a rough 5K, uh, 10K that I know I'm going to be a little bit heel striking on, um, anything with heels, ah, these are the ones I, I put on. So... These have been really good for me. Really like Saucony. Uh, these they can't say anything wrong about them. Um, I'm gonna move on, and I'm gonna show you my long distance shoes, and then we're gonna weigh them out. So show you the differences. Um, running with the A6 GT 2170s right now. These have become my long distance shoes. Anything over 20, definitely putting these on. I've uh, been running them a lot more in short distance just to get used to them, but these have replaced my Mizuno Wave Alchemies, and the Wave Alchemies were great, but they hurt my foot until I finally broke that little piece of plastic that's in them. So once I did that, I was completely happy with them. Just I have a little bit of a flat foot, so the plastic arch was eaten into my arches and, and one fact, bruising them. But once they snapped and it was actually a little pop, I realized that I had a really good shoe and I ended up running uh, the Rock and Roll Marathon in them so it was really cool with those but back to the Asics these replaced my long distance shoes so even uh, just with the short distances I've done in them getting up into the upper mountains when I started getting fatigued I really like this dual cushion this dual cushion has been awesome you see there's a little gray right here and they're calling it the Duo Max they got a little gray right here, which is a lot harder than the white, and this really, really absorbs a lot of the pounding. So when I start to fail in my form, I really, really like these because they help me out. Um, my, my prior to the Mizuno Waves Alchemies, they these were, uh, they're not these, but my Asics were my going to long distance shoes. So I'm back to them. Um, I'm really liking them. They're really comfortable. Still breaking them in, but uh, this is definitely my next marathon shoe. So when you look at them in profile with the uh, the Saucony Pro Grids, you, you you see that little bit that kick to them. And these are both the left foot. So just kind of wanted to show that. Um, otherwise, really happy with both these shoes. And I know for the beginners, like. You think you just need some running shoes, but then you find out that there's a whole nother world out there. So, I just want to show you guys what I've decided on. The new ones that I've kicked in are my Mizuno 
back to Mizuno. I went with the Wave Musha 3s. These are going to be my racing flats, 5 and 10K. I've um, been training in them just to get used to them and was hoping to get some track practice in, but really loving them. They're super flat, so when you look at the two different shoes, and I may be able to get this third one in here. So when you look at the different shoes, you really see that arch difference. This one's got a ton of support in it. Racing flat's going to be really nice and smooth, which gives you nice flat mid sole or front foot um, step. And then this is the actually the wrong shoe. So. But uh, you see, they still have that arch, but I really like the Falconry Ride 3s for 5Ks and 10Ks. And these are my new experimental minimal shoes, but I'm really loving them so far on my repeats. I've been doing about um, three different runs on them, doing mile repeats. Really liking them. They're really flat, but give you great road feel. They're all over the road, so you get every single step feeling them. And it's better than barefoot. I know you guys like barefoot running, but quite frankly, blisters suck. But so... Getting to it, I want to show you guys real quick the differences here. And like I said before, I did wash these Saucony, so give them a little credit. They're dry from today. But uh, what we're looking at is 11.85 ounces, so not too bad. Adds up over the miles, as, as you might know. We're looking at 12 11.95 so we're looking about 12 ounces but I did wash those so give them a little bit of credit and then of course these are some midsole flats so you're gonna look at really really low 8.5 8.55 so these really really kick man. when you get up there I was doing seven minute miles and I was loving it barely felt them I realized that you need to go faster in these and I just didn't have it so that's the whole point on these. There's a quick shoe review on the three that I'm running. Why I run in three different shoes is you got to have training flats, or sorry, training shoes. You got to have racing flats, and you got to have long distance shoes. It's there are three different animals, and you're doing way different runs every time. And people have been asking me about shoes, and you know I want to tell them you just can't go to the department store and buy them. These all come from my running store, and uh, local home running stores, awesome. Fleet Feet's got everything you need. I buy some of my stuff um, on last year's cycle, so I know this is an old review, but the Musha 3s are now up to 4s. I think the GT 20, 2170s are modern. I think that's 2012, and then the Ride 3s obviously are obviously 2011, if not 2010. So when I find a good shoe, I try to keep keep hold of it, and I really, really do like it. So. When you get up to running 20 miles, this helps. It's, I'll give the weight over anything because when I lose form in 21, 22, 24 miles, this is what I want. So that's kind of what we're looking at. A little bit of difference. These are my long distance. These are my middle distance and race shoes or I'm going all out and I'm trying to kill it in these and hopefully these will start to be my trainer so I can work on my sprints a little bit more but what I want to get to is long distance so there's a couple things I've been doing in long distance running that I've been working out and I just want to throw them out there to you because everyone has their own little things if you guys haven't tried these these people are awesome this is phenomenal it's a vegan eat things smile can't say much more I mean, but if you want something in your in your tank, this is what to have. This goes great with coffee, goes great with water. Um, totally digging these. We've been really consuming a lot of these. And thanks to Eat Things Smile for um, donating to our local race so that we could have those. Because otherwise I would never have found out about them. Lara Bars, you all know about those. Love the chocolate chip, but um, if you look on the side, it will tell you gluten-free, kosher, uh, non-GMO, vegan, blah, 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 whatever. But um, something good. I really like these. They're small. They're compact. They fit in my long-distance short pockets, so I can actually cram these in here. Um, 
pretty cool. Y'all know goo. My favorite goo so far, definitely been, that's not it, chocolate outrage, but espresso. I've been killing the espresso, and sometimes with coffee. But if it's not espresso, it's chocolate outrage. These two have been the go-to goo gels for me. I can take them down and not gag, but um, they go great with my coffee. Um, on the longer runs, I've been getting into the sports beans. Um, I know you guys seen these, but these really, really help out. And besides, they distract you a little bit while you're chewing. So, good deal there. I think it's a multi-purpose uh, sport bean there. It kind of helps you forget that you're hurting and you actually want something with some sugars and quick energy, as they say. But, no, nah, these have been really helpful, but you still you still want some water with these because after you've been running and choking them down, it gets to be a little bit much. And then, of course, Cytomax, or um, I've also been mixing this with, um, I've been diluting it with both Gatorade and apple juice, which the apple juice has actually kicked my sugars up, because uh, hypoglycemia kicks in for me about mile 18, and it gets bad. So Cytomax and some apple juice has been the way to go, and uh, that's pretty much it. So just a quick synopsis on short running, long running, and why I wear these shoes. I hope this helps. I looked for the reviews when I purchased these and I didn't really see anything other than the store's reviews so I'm hoping some other runners out there who are nerd enough to watch this with me uh, have something to say or, or just kick in some other shoe options. And These are my three go-to shoes. I switch them out. It's pretty hot here so uh, if I run in these one day, they might be soaking wet, so it's great to have a backup because they stink like hell after I've ran, and quite frankly, I just need to uh, get out of a wet shoe, so uh, these are my three interchangeable shoes, and some people ask you, what are you running, and this is my answer, so thank you all for watching, hope you guys uh, have a good run, cheers.